Let me introduce myself. My name is Jean-François. In English, Jean-François. <laughs> Come on, can you repeat that for me? Voila, now you have a French accent. <laughs> Actually, I am half French from the side of my mother, and I am half Italian from the side of a good friend of my father. <laughs> I know. <laughs> my mom hates the joke. <laughs> you know? That's why they call me the French bastard down here in Vegas. <laughs> Everything sounds sexier in French. Mostly after a bottle of wine. I love Pinot Noir. It uh, tastes uh, juicy, the baldness, the color. And uh, mostly because it leaves me with a feeling to grab woman's breast with uh, the approval. Let's put it this way. Wine is for women what beer is for men. It's just a legit way to get laid. <laughs> After all, wine for women is just uh, an excuse for regret. <laughs> First glass, she let go her hair. Second glass, she let go her bra. Third glass, I fall asleep. You give them this, they want that. That, I don't have. <laughs> I had wine tasting in Texas. The most exciting part of it is when she wrap her leg around my neck and say, yee <laughs> I like red, I like uh, white, I like black, but when I mixed, that's when I forget their name. <laughs> that's what lingeries does to you. Painting. It's like uh, cooking, like French cuisine. Uh, you need uh, good recipes, uh, you need uh, good ingredients, but the most important, you need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, imagination. <laughs> you know what? Uh, you know, my father used to say, there is no bad wine. After the third glass, they all taste the same. So before I paint my next painting, I want to make sure I get uh, three glasses of wine. One. Uh, for my dad. You know, start us very young back home. And they used to put uh, that in our bottle when we were babies. <laughs> Two. <sighs> well, for me. For you guys. <laughs> nice. Nice bouquet. Elegant. Flamboyant. <laughs> Soyeux. Tendre. Fatal. Intellectually. Satisfying. <laughs> Structure. Velvetly. Opulent. <laughs> she mostly was a saw. You know, my uh, grandfather was a winemaker. And uh, he died happily at 98. And... Uh, you know, once I was talking to his doctor 
And uh, he told me at the end of his life, he was very medicated. But it was not the pill who killed them. Is that he used to take them down with a border. <laughs> and you guys eat brie? I never got that one. We use it for deodorant. <laughs> you put a bunch of French guys in a room and a piece of brie. And after a few minutes, you don't smell the French anymore. <laughs> don't you think uh, French guys look gay? Or is just that uh, gay people look French? <laughs> you know, it must be the apartment sizes, you know? Try to stay in a closet for 20 years and see what happened. <laughs> I went to Walmart and uh, I was walking around and uh, everything is bigger here. The furniture are bigger, uh, the clothes are bigger, the women are bigger, <laughs> everything is bigger. You know, one day I was just buying clothes. I was at the rack uh, with all the clothes and I was looking for my size. And they had in three sizes, so it makes it easier. There was a small size, the medium size, and parachute size. <laughs> you know, I was in line at the cash register and uh, the cash, uh, cashier lady looked at me and gave me the eye and uh, looking angry. And, uh, you know, and, uh, I realized I had 12 items in a lane of 15 items. So, but they were in my trouser. <laughs> you know, we hate fast food. We like slow food. That's why we eat snails. My wife is American. She can cook. In a matter of fact, I bought her a French Cuisine book, she microwaved <laughs> to have uh, many friends until uh, we invite them over for dinner. I bought her a cordon bleu uh, class. She went over and burned the place down. <laughs> it's sad. She cook. There is more f packaging in the trash then food in my plate. I was walking out of 7-Eleven, I saw that homeless, and I felt sorry for him, so I invited for dinner, and uh, he ended up suing us for food poisoning. <laughs> we love to eat frog legs. Well, the harder things is to catch them. So my friend Mike invited me over in Dallas, in his ranch, and uh, he went after them with an AK-47. <laughs> there were no meat left. Ladies and gentlemen, what I do is very fun, as you can see. I always carry my little power bar. I know you're looking at me and you think I am out of my mind. First row here, if you reach under your seat, you can pick up a pound show that they Velcro right under your chair. Help yourself. They forget it. Too bad. <laughs> By the end of the show, you're just gonna look like me. All right, without waiting, uh, I'm gonna get a little bit paint. And uh, this is my first painting, actually. <laughs> That's it? You know, some guys in New York, they get paid a lot of money for that. Uh, you had a nice uh, lunch and uh, no wine on the table? What is going on? <laughs> if you connect the dot, you can imagine anything you want. You remember when you went to school and they had this little drawing that you had to connect one, two, three, four. Remember that? A little more wine. <laughs> no, they brought me a lot of paint, a lot of stuff. And uh, here is some more. I get this brush. <laughs> what do you want? You win Las Vegas, huh? I asked them for a paintbrush, and here's what they got to me. Can you believe this? I actually got this one from my mother-in-law. <laughs> She's taking the bus now. Anyway. Yes. No, I didn't bring it to, uh, to eat it. I brought it to paint. I want to see what you get because the painting is going to come out only if you are excited. <laughs> oh. 
French shower. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Have you heard that one and French people don't take shower? <laughs> Did you? Oh, it's not true. It's true. <laughs> yeah, we don't take shower. We take bath. We have the smallest bathtub in the world. They're about like big like this. We call it eau de toilette. <laughs> so the next painting, guys, you're never gonna find out what it is. Way out there. <laughs> Usually, when uh, I get a good crowd, people always ask me the same question. They said, how did you ever start to do that thing? When I get a good crowd? <laughs> uh, actually, I went to school for it, believe it or not. Yes, I went to the Beaux-Arts, and uh, the teacher used to love me so much, he used to come back every year. <laughs> They'll fit perfectly your garage door. <laughs> I used to paint small painting, they always end up in the toilet. Now they're right on the front of the house. Pretty good, huh? Always have our time to put the second one. Must be the latex. O.J. Simpson had the same problem. Why he doesn't have it anymore, huh? My parents used to be really proud of my brother and sister because they both have a PhD, and uh, me, I pick up an ADD.